Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome to today's Caffeine for the Soul. This week, we're going to be talking about your amazing mind. And in particular, we're going to be talking about three capacities of the mind, three universal principles that the mind can align with that create our experience of life. And the first of these is what we would call maybe a universal mind. So in a way, one of the things we can do with our amazing mind is we can align it with a universal mind, with a deeper mind, with what some would call a divine mind. And in so doing, we can live with a greater harmony or flow with life. And in this sense, we're using the mind. It's like tuning the mind to the best radio station in the world, where everything that's broadcast through that station is in crystal clear HD sound. It comes with an amazing clarity. It delivers an amazing, almost instinctive knowing. And whatever we hear on that channel from that network is unfiltered truth from our own soul. Now, Another capacity of the mind, another one of these universal capacities or principles that we can attune to is universal consciousness. So one capacity of our amazing minds is that we tap into consciousness. We are able to experience life. We're able to input through the senses and be aware of what we're inputting through consciousness. Now, there's a lot of different metaphors for consciousness, and there's a debate that goes on in the scientific community, the brain science community, about is consciousness an artifact of the brain, or is the brain function via consciousness? And I don't have a clue, but what I do know is that this ability that you have to hear sound waves and experience them in your mind in images and other sounds and words and associated things, that's the gift of consciousness that the, the very sound that comes out of my mouth can come into your world and be translated by your amazing mind into something that makes sense, that makes sensory data from the sound waves and allows you to have an experience of what I'm saying. It's the same thing as data comes in through your eyes and our consciousness allows us to experience that and to have an experience of that and to make experience from that. Well, the third capacity of the mind, of your amazing mind, is thought. Now, thought isn't what you think. Thought is not the specific cognitive ideas that you carry in your head. It's not what you say to yourself. It's not the pictures you make in your mind. Thought is the creative Play-Doh of the universe. Every experience we have of the energy of life, of this deeper energy that I would call the universal mind, is an experience that comes to us via thought. It's made of thought. Thought is the missing link between the formless energy and intelligence of mind and the sensory data and form that we live in and experience in consciousness and create from in the world. So to put it another way, we're alive, we're aware, and we think. So we are of this deeper mind, we have access to this deeper mind. We're alive. We have consciousness. We're aware. We're able to experience and understand our experience to a greater or lesser extent. And we think. We create any reality that we can be in via this amazing capacity of thought. So it's your amazing mind and what makes it amazing is that 
it taps into the universal mind. It taps into a universal capacity of consciousness. And it taps into a universal power of thought. Now, throughout the week, we're going to be talking about the implications of that. We're going to be talking about that in a number of different ways. But just to, to kind of bring it home one last way, let me give you a metaphor for that. Think of consciousness like a radio. So we've already talked about how one of the capacities of your amazing mind is that it can tune into a universal signal. It can tune into a broadcast source that's tied in to the wisdom of the universe, the wisdom of the ages. Well, if consciousness is the radio and mind is the source of the signal, thought is the radio waves. Thought is the medium through which the signal that comes from wherever it comes from gets to our radio set, our consciousness. And so in this way, the mind has both a, a broadcast and a receptive setting. So we can use consciousness, the radio set of our consciousness, to tune into that universal signal of mind and pick up via thought, the thought waves that come through us. But we can also broadcast. We can also simply broadcast our own thoughts out into the world and then experience those back at us. And that's how most of us have learned to use the radio, primarily as a broadcasting set. So we'll receive input and data from outside, but we're basically listening to radio station KME all day long. You're listening to yourself. You think you're listening to other people, but it's all you 24 hours a day. And the beauty of seeing that is that at any point, you can take your radio off broadcast mode. You can get out of your own head and you can tune back in to the signal from the deeper mind. And that's when you start to have wisdom. That's when you start to have insights. That's when you experience well-being. That's when you start to connect more deeply. And that's when you start to get the most out of your amazing mind. We're going to be talking about this all week until tomorrow. Have fun. Learn heaps. I'll talk to you soon.